Aspen is an incredible tree, a pioneer species, found on the side of mountains in poor soils, as well as down in the lush river valleys. A keystone species that supports biodiversity from the ground up. It's the preferred food source of the beaver, and when it forms in its iconic stands, it supports rare invertebrates like the aspen hoverfly as well as over a hundred different species of fungi and lichens. Aspen is widespread and found all over the world, from Japan to North America. However, in Scotland, it's scarce, a rarity, isolated within the patchwork of the Scottish landscapes. In this video, we're not only going to explore the great ecology of the aspen, but also its story here in Scotland, why it struggled, and the work that's being done to bring it back. While in Scotland, I had the chance to meet up with Peter from Aher, who specialises in the nursery and rewilding of rare plants in Scotland. But hey, how's it going? I'm Rob and this is Leaf Curious, where we create content about rewilding here in the UK. And I can tell you it feels so, so good to be featuring this tree on the channel again because, well, my background's in trees. And so I started off the channel. I started by making identification and facts videos about trees. So that seems like a great place to start. One of the best ways to identify aspen isn't with your eyes, but with your ears. It makes a beautiful fluttering sound on the wind. Here's Peter to tell us more about it. It's a way of, of dissipating the wind, wind uh, you, um, load on the, on the tree, I suppose, as well as allowing it to photosynthesize on both sides of the leaf. And there's loads of kind of mythology yeah. around, folklore around the, the, the trembling leaves. You know, they, they whisper, I think, um, was it, Aspen was known as old wife's tongues, you know. <laughs> I read that, yeah, I, th I thought that was a bit harsh on both the tree and <laughs> old wife. Well, exactly. We planted them about, about eight years ago. Yeah. Um, and they were a good size. when they were Peter showed me to some aspen clones, which he had cultivated and planted in his local village of Loch Winnock. Although there was quite a bit of invasive Himalayan balsam, the trees had reached a decent height. And the rounded leaves with their wavy margins and the bright grey bark was unmistakable. During the autumn, the different clones will produce a stunning array of yellow leaves. And ecologically, there's not many better trees in the UK. It's a pioneer species, meaning it's one of the first to grow, colonizing bare ground, creating a valuable woodland habitat relatively quickly. It primarily does this by producing suckers from its root system, which can form great aspen stands stemming from one original tree. When it grows near watercourses, it is the preferred food of the beaver, but its deliciousness has also been to its detriment in Scotland, with grazing animals often nibbling stands to the ground before they can mature. And coupled with this, as Peter explains, has been the tree's inability to produce seed. Like willow, it's uh, dioecious, so it means either a male or female tree. And because aspen is, is rare, often these surviving stands of aspen are isolated from one another. So you make a male miles and miles and miles from the nearest female. Just by planting, like here, a collection of males and females together, that gives them more of an opportunity to cross-pollinate when, the, when the, mm. the conditions are right. We're only talking, there was only five Renf, uh, Renfrewshire aspen left when, when, we, when we started. So I mean, that, that's how rare it was locally. You know, so it's so important to get each of those conserved and, and, and reproduced. And this, I know for a fact, this aspen here is from a local clone in the Renfrewshire Hills. And I mean, that tree is a kind of gnarly little um, wind sculpted <laughs> little tree hanging on and uh, away from the munching sheep, you know, at the side of a little rocky crag. And yet here we are planting it in a completely different location. It's shot up, nice specimen, you know, vigorous looking. <laughs> we headed to the nursery where Peter showed me the process of cultivating the aspen and the many other rare plant species, locating them in the wild, taking a cutting, bringing them back and nursing them through to much larger specimens. Aya has been up and running for 10 years now. And in that time, they produced about a million aspen that have gone on to be planted. But they didn't grow all of these at the nursery. Here's how they do it. That basically involves a lab-based cloning system uh, using plant tissue culture. So basically growing trees in a petri dish. <laughs> so all they need is a tiny sample of a bud, a, of a leaf. Uh, we send them to the lab. We use Gentech and Dundee um, and they will clone the trees and then mass produce them. And it's these trees which have been rewilding Scotland. Projects just like the one set up by our friends over at Mossy Earth, 
who are currently planting and protecting 10,000 aspen trees in Scotland. Focusing on restoring both open ground, riparian zones and planting them alongside thorny species to naturally protect them from grazing animals. As well as creating great rewilding videos on their YouTube channel, they also have a membership which I encourage you to check out as it ensures they can continue running these really important projects. You can also support the work that Peter does at Aya. Links to both of these are on the screen now, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, leave curious.